Our next stop, Adrian College, Michigan Division IV Regional Final, Whiteford, Genesee Christian. Bobcats applying the pressure early on. Bases loaded for Luke Razor, hit off the hands. Brings in Shea Ruddy, Whiteford with the early lead. Couple batters later, Austin Wynn hit into shallow center field, finds the field turf. Logan Tamarin, Levi Hillard score. Wynn looking to take second, he is out, but the Bobcats with three runs in the first. Soldiers respond, top half of the second, bases loaded. Andrew Brewer with a deep fly ball to left. With two outs, everybody's running. Luke Mazarin can't make the grab. Everyone being waved around. A bases clearing double. We are tied at three runs apiece. Bobcats respond in the fifth inning. Tamron with a chopper to second. Throw is wide. That's going to bring in Ruddy. So Whiteford now with the lead. A couple batters later. Win hits to third. Another throwing error by Genesee Christian. Two more runs score for the Bobcats, and they hold on. 8-3 your final. Bobcats take the regional title for the first time in 13 years, advancing to the state quarterfinal. That state quarterfinal game later in the afternoon. Levi Hiller getting the start for the Bobcats, taking on Cardinal Mooney. Trip to East Lansing on the line. Top of first, Cardinals up one. Ryan Trombley, base hit to center, drives in a run. Cardinals with the 2-0 lead. Later in the first, Luke Julio with runners on the corners. Sends off base hit in a center field. That brings in another run. Whiteford would get Julio in a rundown as they get the tag to end the inning. But the Bobcats down three after the first. In the fourth, Bobcats at the plate. Two on for Austin Wynn. Base hit in a center field. Logan Tamarin tags up at third. It wasn't a base, it was a sack fly. He gets the Bobcats on the board. But the Cardinals would have the bats going all afternoon long. They would get nine runs off of 12 hits. They come away with a 9-1 victory as Whiteford season comes to an end. But for this rather young team, the future is bright in Ottawa Lake. Yes, very good baseball team. I told them they needed to, you know, keep their heads up. Um, like I said, I felt like we beat ourselves a little bit there. Uh, too many mental mistakes towards the end of the game. Um, not making excuses. Like I said, very good team over there, and, and they beat us. Well, losing, losing, you can learn a lot from losing. I, I, I honestly, uh, I honestly uh, believe that. Um, like I said, you, you learn from the mental mistakes. Um, learn to build off the disappointment and and try to just get better. And and we got a hard, hard group of guys. A lot of them are playing summer ball this summer, and that's what we've talked about out there. You know, it, this season's over, but you got another season to start and just keep improving. You know, and and. Uh, like I said, they're a hardworking group of guys. As you can see, they put in a lot of effort this year, and I, I think it'll carry over into summer ball. Mason Lowry spent the day at the palatial Nicolet Field and joins us now. Well, the good news, for the first time since 2008, the Whiteford Bobcats have a regional championship in baseball. The bad news for 2021, anyway, that's as far as they're going to go. They open the day with a really good performance against Genesee Christian, a school just east of Flint, playing for a regional title for the very first time. It was a 3-3 game early on, and then Whiteford scored the last five runs to win at 8-3. In fact, in one inning, they got four runs as a result of four errors. But in game two, they ran into the buzzsaw that is Marine City Cardinal Moody, the second-ranked team in the state of Michigan in D4. They're the second-ranked team for for a reason. Great pitching performance from Blake Let's get it a Six and two-thirds inning, struck out nine, scattered just five hits. He was really, really good, and Whiteford was never really able to get it going. A pretty remarkable run this season, though, for the Whiteford Bobcats with a really young team, just three seniors. They started the year 0-5. They end the year 23-10. I have a feeling they're going to be back in a big way in 2022.